Now our last lightning talk speaker for the night is Phil Cockfield. He's a co-founder of Respondly, which many of you know, it's one of the most well-known Meteor production apps. And he's going to speak about getting started with UI Harness. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, so I've given a talk uh, a while back about the UI Harness. And uh, let me just get the, the screen size sorted out here. Cool. Um, so I won't go into the details of what that was all about because it's it's uh, it's in the video and it's up on on YouTube, but at the time it wasn't public and it wasn't out um, in the package uh, server, but it is now up in the um, in the cloud. And uh, what I'm going to do is spend less than uh, three minutes showing you how to get started from absolutely nothing to um, a running app uh, with uh, with UI Harness. So let's start um, by creating a new Meteor app. So Meteor create, and we'll call this thing foo. It's going to spin away, increase the size. And uh, here we have a new app. I'll cd into foo. Um, and let's add a package. So meteor add respondly. If I could, oh man, if I could spell respondly, UI harness. So it's going to pull the UI harness package down. Um, I'm just going to add another couple of packages just to get us going. Um, Meteor, add, uh, copy script. And let's open up um, this thing in Sublime. So there's a couple of files in here. In fact, I'm just going to throw away the, um, uh, the boilerplate CSS and the boilerplate JavaScript. So we're just left with the HTML file. And within that, I'll ditch this. Um, let me increase the font size a bit. Ditch, ditch this boilerplate, and then we'll just drop the UI harness in. Um, and we're done. We've now got a UI harness. I'm going to step over to the command line, start up the Meteor app, um, and we'll see what we've got. So that's chugging away. Open and here, port 3000, and we're in a starting position with an empty UI harness. So um, the UI harness is all about having this canvas here and a, and a structured, uh, principled way of, of getting test code up and wrapped around a programmable um, UI component. So for demo purposes, I will add um, our core package um, controls, which are public. So we have two sets. Some are public and some are private. All the ones that were required to create the UI harness are public. So that's uh, Meteor add respondly core public specs. That's going to add those packages. And once it's done, we should see uh, the server spin around. If I did that right. Aha, uh -huh, specs. And I even wrote it on screen so that I wouldn't get it wrong. So, um, so that's spinning and rebuilding. And we can see that a specification uh, library has turned up. We can click in there. We can see the controls that are in there. Here's a checkbox, simple checkbox. Uh, it's in a disabled state if I enable it. So here we have on the, the left-hand side all the test um, fixtures that let us manipulate this thing whilst we're developing it. We can um, toggle the size around, maybe jump back out of that and see that that same control working in a, um, in a more complex environment. This is a, a tree of these things um, showing indeterminate state. Um, Etc. Etc. So I have no seconds left, <laughs> but um, but there, that's the UI harness. You can pull it, and documentation and more elaboration uh, coming very soon. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.